Today, I will show you how to use Moon Animator to showcase your effects in Roblox Studio. Hey friends, it's Pleb, back with another VFX Academy video. Today is without a doubt the most important tutorial for all VFX artists. First off, the Moon Animator is an animation plugin that costs $30. It is without a doubt a staple in any dev's plugin collection, so please get it if you haven't already. Also, shout out Ghosty for creating the original Moon Animator tutorial. May that video rest in peace. On my Twitter, I just recently posted this effect here. Pretty cool, right? You would assume it's a fully scripted ability. However, it was done completely with Moon Animator. And I will walk you through how I did it now. So first, open up Moon Animator and then use the plus sign to add a new element to Moon. In Moon, you can select the properties you want to have added. Okay, quick side tangent. All those fancy curve trails you see in other VFX can't really be animated manually in Moon without taking forever. But shout out this random dev forum post I saw that I recommended doing this method. This is the sauce for making the curve trail in Moon. We are going to create a root rotation part and use the handy weld part tool in Moon to weld the parts together. That way, we can rotate the root, and our trill part will have a perfect arc. Alright, so now we are just going to mess with the rotation of the root part to make the spiral curve trails. Now let's start adding particles into Moon. It's very simple. Click the plus sign, then select the particles you want to control through Moon and add the properties you want. If you have a bunch of particles to be added at once, you can filter only particles in Studio by searching C colon particle emitter. If you use a plugin like Cat's VFX Suite, your emit data will automatically be applied to Moon Animator. So, no need to type the M account into Moon. Look, I ride out twitching, I'm canceling shows, I'm skipping out on Christmas. I'm building a home, I'm excavating the premises while my nemesis is thinking that I'm digging the ditches. I don't even have wishes, I have to do this. Cover sheets, scope of work, and some blueprints. Now we are going to emit the shoot part that I made. Again, click the plus sign in Moon, then we will add the particles for the shoot. Boom. It already looks pretty awesome, but the effect is not over yet. Now we are going to make the moving fish. For the fish, we are going to add the same rotation root part strategy I showed you earlier because I want the fish to jump in and out of the floor in a cool arc. Click the plus, add the fish, and just select the key point for a C frame and move the fish. It will automatically place a keyframe. Okay, we are doing the fish splash effect, so add it just like before. I think at this point you are catching on that this is a very simple to do with Moon. It is just kind of time consuming. But eventually it just becomes like muscle memory so you can work much faster.
All right, here's the next section. Moon is basically the greatest plugin. We can also manipulate beams directly through the plugin. So like the particles, click the plus sign and select the beams you're using. You can now select which property for the beam you want to animate. Awesome sauce, the beam is now in moon. I'm just going to do a simple tween animation of the beam opening and closing, so follow my steps if you want to do a similar thing. Now that I explained the beams, you basically know how to use moon for VFX. Make sure you also spam click save, because as goaded as moon is, it randomly bugs out so it's safe to have everything saved always. I would just do a quick speed run over the rest of the effect. There we go, it's done. You can press Ctrl plus H to hide the moon UI so you can record nicely. I hope you learned something. Stay awesome, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye.